Somebody say that, Father, I am in your presence tonight. Look down from your holy habitation and bless me. Father, bless me, bless my home in the mighty name of Jesus. And I am in your presence tonight. Father, bless me, O oh Lord. Bless me, bless my home in the mighty name of Jesus. Bless me indeed in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, bless me. Father, bless me. Daddy, bless me in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, bless me. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed, Father. Father, I thank you for gathering me to your presence tonight. Somebody bless his name. Father, I bless your name. I give you all the praise, Daddy. I give you all the adoration for bringing me to your presence tonight. Father, be exalted, O Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody thank him. Somebody thank him. Somebody thank him. Father, I thank you for bringing me here. I give you praise, Daddy. Because you have brought me here to say to me tonight, Daddy, I give you praise. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Somebody say, Father, every sin in my life that will cut me off from your covenant on this altar, Father, forgive in the mighty name of Jesus. Pray, somebody. Pray, somebody. Pray, Father, forgive, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Every sin in my life that will cut me off from your covenant on this altar. Father, forgive, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Have mercy on me, O oh Lord. Have mercy, O oh Lord. Have mercy, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, have mercy. Have mercy, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Brethren, tell your neighbor to sit for a while. Tell your neighbor to sit down for a while. I want to welcome every one of us tonight. We are supposed to continue with the part two tonight of the greatest in the kingdom. We started last Wednesday. It was a, an operation Jericho that looked like a Bible study. And the pastor was telling us not to mistake that last week for a Bible study. Because it was not. But the best way to pray is to pray scriptural prayer. Yes. The prayer that the scripture is the foundation of that prayer. That one gives automatic answer. But bigger than that is the one that is prayer as led. To pray as led. You know, it is like a mother that tells a child that when I come back from the market, just ask me what I brought back for you. Bring something. So remind me, that is praying as led. That child does not need to labor for too long. Just to say, mommy, you said I should remind you what you buy for me when you come from the market. And the man will put her hand into her back and do what? And she brings out the gift for the child. That is what we are doing tonight. It stems from that uh, Matthew chapter 18, from verse number 1 to 4 that we read last week. Brethren, I tell you, today we are beginning 19 days of uncommon praise. If you are clapping, you stand to your feet and shout that hallelujah. Amen. 19 days what? Uncommon praise. The Lord will bless us in Jesus' name. And we are taking our foundation today from the book of Joshua chapter number 6. Joshua chapter number 6 from verse number 1. And don't forget some months ago, about two months now, we read the book of Psalm number 65. Do you remember that verse? I told you then that that was the second time we are reading that scripture 
in Quran the second time. We always start that Psalm number 65 in a place and end it in another place. Always. How many of us remember? You remember, God bless you. If you remember, shout hallelujah. Hear me. We started the first time we read, God gave us Psalm 65. We started in Rio Boat, we ended here. So every time we have read Psalm 65, we have always started in a place to end it in another place. Somebody will look and say, what is going to happen? God is moving you from where you are to that height where you ought to be. Somebody you will get there. Ah, I will not be lost on the way. I will get there in the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody, if you are ready, stand to your feet, shout, one, two, go. Ah, ah, hallelujah. 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 And hallelujah. Brethren, the book of Joshua, chapter number six. We are reading from verse one. It's rather long. We can't finish it today. There are instructions for this 19 days journey. Instructions. It is inside the book of Joshua, chapter number six. Brethren, let me tell you, for the next 19 days, whatever prayer points you will hear here, they are prayers of praise and prayers of thanksgiving. For these 19 days too, in your home, in your business, in that your job, whatever prayer you are going to pray, in fact, it should be danced and singing. If any prayer will come at all, is going to be Father, I thank you. Because you are beautiful for situation. Because you are awesome in my life. Because there is nothing that is impossible unto you. Daddy, I bless your name. Is somebody ready? Say, what about my landlord? You see, hallelujah, 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 praise the Lord. That is for your landlord. That is for your landlord. What about my son's school fees? Blessed be the name of the Lord. The choir is sleeping. Mm, it's worthy to be blessed. And I and I so Hallelujah. <laughs>
Somebody look at your neighbor. It's like you are in the mood already. It's like somebody is in the mood for praise. It's like you are in the mood already. Hallelujah. Sit down. You see, brethren, <laughs> I pray you will catch this, Rema. You know something? It is when God demands praise, that is the answer you are waiting for. That is the answer. You don't need to pray when you need to praise. Why? Because nothing moves the hand of God. Let's, let's even not talk about God. Nothing moves the hand of anybody like praising that person. Look at wife and husband. Look at wife that can praise husband well. Husband that praises his wife well. Sir, you will be surprised that 2,000 Naira soup it will have what 10,000 Naira soup does not have. Now lie. Women, am I talking to you? You women in the house, am I correct? Uh -uh. Come and ask me how to do it. By the time I want my wife to cook a particular kind of soup, and the money, eh, you know now, eh? by the time I now begin to talk about, I start from my air. To talk about soup, I start from my air. It is soup I'm talking about. Oh. But I just noticed that beautiful air. Even though she has not plated it for two weeks. It's the same air. You know women and this their air now. I say, ah, did you just play this your air? Tom, let me see. <laughs> Hear me. By the time I now come to the matter of soup, uh -huh. the soup will start being cooked without me paying. This <laughs> praise the Lord. It is after the soup has started cooking that I will now look at it out of shape. Make no business like that. They chop on credit. <laughs> Praise the Lord. It is not, it is not our, it's not connection, connection. The Lord will bless us in Jesus' name. Yes, Many of us want to look at our life. They say, but what about the challenge I'm having? When you think about that one, what was that song that a uh, blessing was singing? That you sing, I'm a singer, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are you singing that song?
Praise the Lord. Sir, the problem we have in the Christian world today is we believe that once the challenge is bigger than us, then it is bigger than our God. But that is not so. That is not so. We are looking at things from underneath those things. That is why Jesus Christ said, whoever is from above, he that is from above, is above all. The problem that you are looking at, you are looking at it through the eyes of yourself, through the eyes of your neighbors, through the eyes of that problem itself. That one gives us the grasshopper mentality that is so prevalent in our churches today. But sir, do you know that a very tall mountain is only noticed by those who are standing beside the mountain on the ground? If you are looking at that mountain from the aeroplane, that mountain cannot be, some, sometimes it is not as big as a small bowl. That huge mountain. They are like a tiny bowl. Some of them like the matchbox, a whole mountain. Somebody begin to look from above. I receive the grace to see things from above. In the mighty name of Jesus. I receive, from today, I receive the grace to see things from above. In the mighty name of Jesus. What is that situation in your life? What is that situation in your life? Yes. Begin to place those situations before the Lord. Say, I want to dance before you. These 19 days over every one of these situations. I want to sing and dance. These 19 days. The 19 days ends with a feast. Hallelujah. The 19 days ends with a feast in his presence here. The feast is 3rd of December 2023. That is when the 19 days feast will end. Somebody, I am, I am, I have decided over this matter to dance and sing before you. Yes, I am offering them a sacrifice before you. This situation in my life, I'm offering it a sacrifice before you. Yes, Father, as I sing and dance to you. <laughs> oh, what do you want Him to do for you? What do you want Him to do for you? What do you want Him to do, Father? As I sing and dance before you. These 19 days. Somebody is not even dancing. Somebody is not dancing. You are not dancing. You are not dancing. You are not dancing. Ah, Father, this is what I want. Yes, yes, yes. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. <laughs> Let's remind you of that song again. Okay. Are you ready to dance now? You are singing the reggae version. You are singing the reggae, the reggae version. I want the one that will hold our cloth like this and dance. Oh, yeah. Yes.
Tell your neighbor to sit down. Say here instructions. The book of Joshua, chapter number six. Tell you God love noise. <laughs> yes, God love noise. I pray God you open the eyes of somebody to see what I am seeing tonight. The book of Joshua, chapter number six. Can you see? From verse number one. Now, Jericho was straightly shut up because of the children of Israel. Don't forget the plains in the desert. When you look up, you can see people in far places. Even if you can't see them you will see dust rising in the sky in that direction coming towards you. You know that yes, some people are marching towards you. So the people of Jericho, they saw, you know, they have very tall walls. So they saw they were able to see from afar the Israelites coming. So they, they locked up their city. So that challenge that you are looking at is the Jericho. It looks as if in the eyes of that challenge it looks as if all doors are shut. So you can't come in. That is what the challenge thinks. Maybe it is foot of the womb that somebody is seeking. Say, I've tried. And that challenge you say, <laughs> If it is maybe business, a job, a marriage partner, the challenge will look at this. The powers working the challenge in that person's life, they will start laughing, fanning, fanning themselves. You know the reason why they are fanning themselves? My brother has been praying and sweating. But this is a game changer. Somebody say game changer. Uh -uh. You don't understand. This is a game changer. The king of Jericho, the soldiers, the generals, they were too sure that let us shut the gates. They can't fly. There is no way they can enter this place. And they have, you see, many of us look at war as we just come to a place, go and start beating, beating against their wall. No, no, no. Wars are not fought that way. You first of all sit down, study your, the enemy. They have studied the Israelites. They knew that they spent 430 years in Egypt. That throughout the 430 years, they had no history of war. Meaning that there were no soldiers around them. All of them were civilians. Yes, meaning that there were 